UFC, the world leader in MMA. Experience it on Fuel TV. The one is almost here. Welcome to the UFC weigh-in on Fuel TV as we're just hours away from the launch of Fox Sports 1 and the UFC is set to deliver an action-packed card from Boston, Massachusetts, all headlined by this MMA legend. The former UFC light heavyweight champion Shogun Hua will step into the octagon ring number eight in the world at 205 pounds, but will have his hands full when he faces his latest opponent. The American gangster, Chael Sonnen, a former NCAA All-American wrestler and co-host of UFC Tonight. He's known not only for his bruising grappling attack, but for his stinging verbal jabs as well. They'll throw down tomorrow in Beantown, but today they hit the scale. This is the UFC weigh-in on Fuel TV. Hello and welcome inside our Fox Sports studio in Los Angeles, California. I'm Molly Karam alongside Kenny Florian and Brian Stan. Before we get talking about this weekend's action, though, let's take a look at the schedule for tomorrow. It is packed. Of course, it's the launch of America's new sports network, Fox Sports 1. The fight action gets underway with the Facebook prelims at 4.30 p.m. Eastern. And while the prelims get going, the UFC pre-fight show kicks off at 5 Eastern on Fox Sports 1. Leading right into the prelims at 6, followed by the main card at 8. It will be six straight hours of UFC action on Fox Sports 1. Check out FoxSports1.com for channel listings in your area. All right, guys, there's a lot of buzz surrounding this card, not just because of the launch of the channel, but all the talent competing. This is pretty much a pay-per-view worthy card on FS1. This is one of the best cards that I can remember in history. I mean, you talk about all the star power in this card. I mean, I'm excited about a ton of prelims. Forget just the main card. So uh, I'm fired up about this one. You know, Kenny, I couldn't agree more. It's interesting you say that because there's actually nine guys on this fight card that have been in main events previously. So some of these guys that have been in main events are now in the early prelims. That's how yeah. stacked this card is. That's crazy. Let's take a closer look at the main event, though. A five-round light heavyweight affair between Shogun Hua and Fuel TV's own Chael P. Sonnen. This one's really a clash of styles, though. Kenny, if Shogun is 100% healthy, how tough is he to stop? Uh, he's going to be really tough. If he's 100%, I mean, he's going to be a handful for anybody. You're talking about a former champion in the UFC. This was a champion over in Japan when he won the Grand Prix in Pride. He is so technical. He's accurate. He has a ton of power. He's also very dangerous on the ground. He's a very underrated ground game. Brian here has first-hand uh, experience in fighting Chael P. Sonnen. What makes his style so effective? Well, you know, Chael's one of the very best wrestlers in all of MMA, and the thing that makes him so effective is as a striker going against Chael, he limits your arsenal. If you throw leg kicks against him like I did, you end up getting slammed on your back. If you get too wide open with your strikes and try and knock him out, he ducks under, hits you with a double leg. So he makes you be more conservative in your arsenal of striking, which makes it difficult to face him. And there's no shortage of experience between these two. 70 fights between them. Time now to send it to the fourth member of our team, Ariel Hawani, who is on the ground in Beantown with more on the launch of America's new sports network. Ariel. Guys, the word of the week here in Boston has been honored because that's how many of the fighters told me they feel about kicking off Fox Sports 1 tomorrow night. And perhaps no one more so than UFC President Dana White, who finally sees his organization link up with the sports network it has been searching for. Well, first of all, obviously, we're, we're very honored that we're launching Fox Sports 1. Um, and we wanted to build a card that was stacked from top to bottom. And when you talk about launching the network, I, I think there's going to be five or six hours of great fights on Fox Sports 1 uh, on Saturday. So, you know, we, we knew what we wanted to deliver. And thank God, you know, one of the, one of the things you can't tell is if guys are going to stay healthy and guys aren't going to get injured and guys have stayed together, the card's happening, and this Saturday night's going to be a great night. It is certainly a stacked card, and to top it all off, it takes place in a city White grew up in, Boston, Massachusetts. Molly, I don't know if Dana White has a scrapbook, but if he does, I'm guessing this one will be featured in it. Now it's time for our Twitter poll question. Which fight are you most looking forward to? And we know we have some good ones. All you need to do is tweet hashtag Shogun Sonnen, hashtag Overeem Brown, or hashtag Favor Alcantara. We'll have the results later on in the show. 
And all the action goes down live on America's new sports network, Fox Sports 1. Beginning tomorrow, it will be available on all major TV providers. Just go to foxsports1.com to find out what channel Fox Sports 1 will be on in your area. Or for the national TV providers, you can see specific channel numbers below on the ticker. When we come back, Shogun Hua, Chael Sun, and Alistair Overeem, the California kid, and the rest of tomorrow's fighters step on the scale and make it official. Joe Rogan is on the mic in Boston when we return. to the weigh-ins. Ariane and Brittany, ladies and gentlemen, Dana White, without him, none of this would be possible. Joe Silva, best matchmaker on the planet Earth. Burt Watson, babysitter to the stars. We got a hell of a lineup for you, folks. Kicking things off in the lightweight division. Ramsey Najim versus James Vick.
ladies and gentlemen, James Vick and Ramsey Najim. Next up in the light heavyweight division, Cody Donovan versus Oman St. Prue. OSP, a former linebacker for the University of Tennessee SEC football player, phenomenal athlete, got to train with him for this training camp. He really focused a lot on his conditioning. He felt that his conditioning failed him in his last fight. This is the first fight he's ever done a lot of road work for, so we'll look for that tomorrow night in this fight against Cody Donovan. Gambarian, who has already fought for a belt at 145 pounds against Jose Aldo, has battled a pretty bad shoulder injury over the years and actually will be battling a 8-inch height disadvantage against his opponent, Cole Milton.
America's new sports network is coming tomorrow, and it all begins with an epic night of premieres beginning with UFC Fight Night at Shogun Hua takes on Chael Sonnen, followed by the news and highlight show fans have been waiting for, Fox Sports Live. It all begins tomorrow at 8 p.m. Eastern, only on Fox Sports 1. Brandau coming up for weigh-ins right now. Had the chance to train with this young man for years, and he actually changed something up. His last two camps, he brought in Brat the Freitas, a Gracie Baja Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt, one of the best in the world to help him train for this belt and really sharpen up his submission skills. Look for that tomorrow night in this fight. win at UFC 146, Mike Brown said he was very close to retiring. But after recently undergoing neck surgery, the former WEC featherweight champion says he's never felt better. Gregor says he is not surprised by the attention he has received from the UFC, fans, and of course the media. His slogan is stay ready so you don't have to get ready. And the Irishman says he's been ready for all of this since day one.
gentlemen, Max Holloway and Conor McGregor. Next up in the bantamweight division, Brad One Punch Pickett versus Michael Mayday McDonald. Michael McDonald says the biggest lesson he learned following his loss to Hannah Brown in February was to treat his body like an employee. He says he pushed his body to its limits in training and he paid for it in the interim title fight. First up on the scale, Michael Mayday McDonald. Pickett, who has fighting in his blood, actually wears his suspenders and signature cap in memory of his grandfather, who was a bare knuckle boxer in England. Scale, boy! 
185 for Doomsday! And his opponent, Uriah Hall! UFC President Dana White often shies away from labeling fights must-win situations, but he did just that on Thursday when discussing Hall's fight tomorrow night, his first since his disappointing performance in the tough finale back in April. America's new sports network is coming tomorrow, and it all begins with an epic night of premieres beginning with UFC Fight Night at Shogun Hua takes on Chael Sonnen, followed by the news and highlight show fans have been waiting for, Fox Sports Live. It all begins tomorrow at 8 p.m. Eastern, only on Fox Sports 1. Look great in his last few UFC appearances, gives a lot of credit to his trips down to Cuba, working out with their Cuban national wrestling and boxing team, and that's been a key in his last few wins in the octagon. Contra, who is a black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, is also very well known for his Muay Thai skills. This is a guy who was successful at 155 pounds and 145 pounds, and with the move down at 135, it's a tough cut for him, but he absolutely has all the skills to be a champ in that division.
136 for Mr. Alcantara. And his opponent, the California kid, Uriah Faber. Interesting fact about Uriah Faber, in his entire MMA career, he's never lost a non-title fight. He is also still coached by Dwayne Ludwig, who since taking over as head coach of Team Alpha Male, the team has gone undefeated in the UFC. coaches and they actually said before this fight he has never focused on his diet or his strength and conditioning like he did in this. He changed everything up and they've seen major improvements in his conditioning, which should be a tremendous key in his fight versus Alistair Overeem. says he was overconfident in his fight against Bigfoot Silva back in February. So as a result, he has gone back to the basics. And part of that means teaming up once again with legendary Dutch striking coach, Big Mike Passanier. Shogun Hua is one of the most exciting fighters in UFC history. Shogun looking for the finish. Oh, just like that. He has one of the most unbelievable highlight reels in all of mixed martial arts. Oh, big uppercut by Shogun. He clipped with the right hand. Oh, he got rocked. Mauricio Shogun. It is all over. Geralmente eu faço lutas emocionantes, então com certeza posso esperar. He is one of those exciting fighters that doesn't play it safe, doesn't try to eke out a decision, steps into the fire, Whoa! and just goes to war. Vicious. Big combination. Oh, look at this. He's out. 
Chael Sonnen is one tough dude. He likes to beat up his opponents and demoralize them. Chael Sonnen, he's a mad dog. He'll fight anybody. He's a crazy dude. And it's not an act. Oh, he had him. He had him. Sonnen strikes early. Oh, he's had him. Again, he got him. Oh. I will fight any man God ever made at any time. I love fighting. It's an ego boost. He is catching right here. Chael Sonnen with the victory. Chael Sonnen is still a world-class fighter, and he needs to prove that by imposing his game, taking Shogun down, and pounding him out. Big power with the ground and power. Oh! Big shot by Chael Sonnen. This is where Chael Sonnen shines. This is his opportunity to let the world know that he's still legit. And for Shogun Hua, this is a critical fight for him if he wants another shot at the title. I like to look for a knockout. I have to pass for him. What a warrior Shogun is. He's never going to let you rest. And he'll never go away. He'll never go away. Introducing the first fighter, the former UFC. Chael Sonnen may be a great Chael fighter and a great Sonnen. trash talker, but he needs a lot of help with his wardrobe. He once stole my sneakers for two weeks, and he always employs myself and Brian Stan to tie his tie for him. Ladies and gentlemen, Chael Sonnen. Champion Mauricio Shogun Hua. Shogun Hua says he respects Chael Sonnen as a fighter, but he doesn't respect everything Sonnen has said about his fellow Brazilian fighters. So as a result, tomorrow night he says he is not just fighting for himself, he is fighting for his entire country of Brazil. Welcome back to our Fox Sports 1 studio. Molly Karam here alongside Brian Stan and Kenny Florian. Guys, now it's time for each of you to give me an X factor for a main event clash between Shogun Hua and Chael Sonnen. Kenny. All right, well, you know, my X factor uh, for Chael is the fact that he changed camps uh, pretty last minute. You know, his gym got closed down, so he had to switch down, now training with Rain. And he also has the same guys in his corner. So he has guys in his corner that have been with him, but not the guys that he's currently training with. So I found that to be a very interesting fact. And this X Factor is brought to you by Twix. Try both and pick a side, Brian. New well, you pick know, now. My X Factor for Chael Sun is going to be his endurance. I've trained with Chael. I've fought Chael. This guy has incredible